Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Today, Life Science have carried the headline that a 4,500 year old ramp contraption may have been used to build Egypt's Great Pyramid after the remains of such a system were discovered at the site of Hatnub which is an ancient quarry in the eastern desert of Egypt, specifically the archaeological site of Tel Al Amarna, located in the province of Minya. After studying about 100 inscriptions and having discovered the remains of wooden instruments, experts have deduced that the ancient Egyptians used a central ramp with a large inclination to extract alabaster blocks from the quarry. The archaeologists from the French Institute for Oriental Archaeology in Cairo and from the University of Liverpool in England say the contraption may have been used to build the Great Pyramid, but a relationship to the pyramids is certainly tenuous at best. Yanis Gordon, co-director of the joint mission, said the presence of two of Khufu's inscriptions led us to the conclusion that the system dates back to at least Khufu's reign, the builder of the Great Pyramid of Giza. So, because of the Khufu inscriptions at the quarry, this all of a sudden becomes a contraption that could have been used to build the Great Pyramid, which is obviously just a hypothesis based on the mainstream narrative regarding the age of the pyramids. Although I'm not a believer of the mainstream view on the age of the pyramids, the discovery is significant and although we find Khufu's name, the quarry could well be far more ancient. So, what are we actually looking at? As Gordon points out to Live Science, at the quarry there is a central ramp flanked by two staircases with numerous post holes. He says, Using a sled which carried a stone block and was attached with ropes to these wooden posts, ancient Egyptians were able to pull up alabaster blocks out of the quarry on very steep slopes of 20 degrees or more. The article goes on to explain that the ropes that were attached to the sled acted as a force multiplier, making it easier to pull up the ramp. According to Gordon, this kind of system has never been discovered anywhere else and the discovery of Khufu inscriptions and specific tool marks lead the archaeologists to believe it was also employed by the builders of the Great Pyramid. Pyramids aside, if the Khufu inscription was contemporary with the contraption, it does show us that in the 4th dynasty, the Egyptians knew how to move large blocks of stone on very steep slopes, which in itself is a new discovery. Archaeologists have long believed that ramps were used in the construction of the pyramids, and now they believe they have found the answer as to how exactly they did this, and yes, logic says it does work. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, said in a statement that this is the first time the system of transferring blocks from the quarry was discovered and how it was possible to lift these blocks of several tons, which changes completely the understanding about the construction of the pyramids. But although this specific quarry was active during the reign of Khufu, the geology of the stone in the quarry is totally different to the stone used to build the pyramids, which of course are limestone and not alabaster. Although alabaster is used in some Giza structures, such as the floor of the Valley Temple of Khafre. The inscriptions at the quarry provide information on the stone blocks excavated and the technique with which they were taken to the River Nile, which was located some 20 kilometers away, from where they were transferred in boats. Sadly, with the press release there are no diagrams of exactly how the system worked and all we have are a couple of photographs and the words of the archaeologists. But whatever the system was, there is more evidence for it, for example, at the unfinished pyramid of Zayat el Aryan, the large ramp down into the pit is flanked by two staircases, indicating that this system may also have been used to transport large blocks downhill as well as up. I also believe for many reasons that Zayat el Aryan predates dynastic history, so at this location, as well as the quarry, we may actually be seeing the remnants of more ancient ways to move stone, later adopted by the dynastic Egyptians. 
Therefore, the contraption found at the quarry may well have links to the original pyramid builders, but at this time, there is no real evidence to make any logical connection to the pyramids. I expect that a more in-depth paper will soon be published by the investigating archaeologists, and when I have more information, I will compare it to the Great Pyramids and see if this really is a possible method for their construction. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.